When we were looking at building the state headquarters building, uh, one of the questions that came up to the different programs was, is there something in terms of a cornerstone lab that we could end up building into the new facility? Dr. Paul Carlson said, hey, this is the next step in visibility research. He knew the research that we were doing out at Riverside was state of the art and uh, unparalleled in terms of other university-based research, but the laboratory gives us a highly controllable research environment where not only we can uh, control for various factors that give us the exact geometries that we want to test, but that we can also test a lot of other geometries we may not even be able to test out at Riverside. In terms of retroreflectivity, what you basically have is at night when you're driving, anything in terms of a traffic control device such as a pavement marking or uh, the little reflectors on the roadway or signs, they're visible at night because of retroreflectivity. And what retroreflectivity is, is it's a combination of your headlights, um, hitting a retroflective optics that are on these materials and then reflecting that light back directly to the eye. What makes that different is it's, it's directly, uh, it's brought back to the light source or in our case um, the driver and what that's called is observation angle. And that really is critical because what you think about is the difference there is a person in a passenger car versus somebody in a tractor trailer or a bus driver, they have a much bigger observation angle. So sometimes uh, depending on what type of products are being viewed, it may be more difficult for them to have the traffic control devices visible at night. And so that's one of the other things that we could do here in the laboratory is we can actually test those exact geometries and see how one product fares against another for a particular driver. TTI has the only visibility research laboratory of its kind that's university-based here in the United States. That allows us to provide um, an unbiased assessment of products from the standpoint of, of sheerly research. Not only that, a number of those material providers don't actually have a human factors component. So what we can do here is we can provide an unbiased assessment of similar capabilities to what they may have. Then we can take that information and then see how it compares in terms of human factors research.